What is up my fellow budget travelers? Today I'm coming at you from Kanab in Utah. And as you know, we are on a Las Vegas road trip. We're driving up and exploring all over the place up here. And this ended up being a perfect place to get some rest before we hit our adventures. Here's an idea of what the Holiday Inn Express in Kanab looks like. As you walk in, you're met with this nice entryway. They've got antlers on the wall. I mean, it's really rustic and Western. You're also greeted with some much needed water after driving in the sun all day. They've got it set up right next to the front desk where you sign in. I'll go ahead and show you the room first and then I'll show you all the amenities. They have a lot of amenities here, so you're really gonna like it. We ended up having a handicap room cause that's one of the only rooms they had available. So we were on the second floor here and I really liked that each room had a lucky horseshoe on it. I thought that was such a fun touch. It is a key card entry room and I like their do not disturb. It's like, we're not ready yet. <laughs> so as I said, we had been hiking all day, so it was dark when we got here, but here's an idea of what the room looks like. And then I'll show you what it looked like in the morning after I show you now. We had a double queen suite and this room was super spacious. It was exactly what we needed after being out in the hot sun all day. The AC was pumping, so we love that. But here's an idea of what the room looks like. The blankets were really comfortable and so were the beds. They were so comfy. They give you four different pillows here. The first ones were a little firmer. The ones in the back were a little softer. And I really enjoyed all the flair that was in this room. It had like a very country Western vibe. Like even in the bathroom, look at this light fixture. It was like a horn. I thought that was so fun. The bathroom was like really spacious. Our only complaint is that the door doesn't really like stay open or closed. So you're gonna have to like prop the door and play with it. They offer you Dove products here. So they have body lotion as well as soap. They give you makeup wipes. The shower head is removable. And then they've got your shampoo, conditioner, and body wash inside the shower as well. Moving over to the suite area, they have this little sink desk area thing. So they've got a Keurig, you've got creamers, cups. There's a microwave here, an ice bucket. They've got a refrigerator. And here's some more of that Western flair I was talking about. They actually had a photo of the Antelope Canyon, which we had just gone to, and it was the exact same photo as ours. So that was really cool. Moving around the room, you've got a couple different options for seating here. Again, there's Western flair everywhere. I mean, even this handlebar had little like stars on it. It's little touches like that that really make me like a place. As you can see, it was 1.30 in the morning. I don't know what it is about me and hiking and we get back to the room at like 1.30 in the morning, but I guess this is like a consistent thing with us. <laughs> You'll see that in a bunch of the videos. They've got plenty of drawer space. And then moving over to the closet, they have hangers that actually come off the hook. You've got an ironing board and iron, but you know we love these kind of hangers, guys. And they have the little clips on them too, my favorite. And a lot of people ask, it, it does have like a tiled floor on one side and a carpet on the other. So it's like wood, tile, and carpet. You've got control over your AC here. It actually is controlled by the wall thermostat. So you don't need to fuss around with this. Moving on over for security, they have two flip latches here. Again, it is a handicap room. So I'm sure one of them is for the handicap option. And then it has the deadbolt there. Here is your AC unit. And then just so you guys know, there are sheer curtains as well as blackout curtains here. And I'll give you an idea of what it looks like in the daytime. We didn't have too much of a view, but um, this is what it looks like out the window here. I think that's a roof. 
There are plenty of outlets scattered throughout this place. I mean, everywhere you look, there's an outlet pretty much. And then I'll just give you a view of what the room looks like in the daytime, and then I'll move on to the amenities. They had a really baller breakfast here at this Holiday Inn. It was so good, guys. They had so much stuff. Um, that fridge was packed with yogurt and eggs, stuff like that. They had make your own waffle station, pancakes, eggs, sausage, all kinds of yum stuff. They also had these homemade Cinnabon things. They were so good. I don't know what was in them, but I we could not stop eating them. <laughs> They've also got a little 24 hour concession stand over here for any essentials that you may have forgotten, but they do have laundry here. So you can buy Tide here and go ahead and do your laundry if you need to, which is great for all of us hikers. They've got a microwave here, and they also have an outside patio as well as indoors, but it was like 120 degrees, guys. We were just trying to soak up the AC before we went hiking. <laughs> Moving on to the amenities, if you head this way, this is the elevator. I've never seen an elevator with a door. I thought that was interesting, but most of the time this was pretty busy, so we ended up just taking the stairway. Again, we were just on the, the first floor up, so it was a short walk up the stairs. And then also the stairs dropped us off right next to the ice machine, as well as where breakfast was and everything. So we use the stairs a lot. Now let's move over to the fitness area. They do have separate bathrooms down here if you need them. And the fitness center was kind of small, but it's got your basics in here. I also like this painting, so I had to point it out. <laughs> then moving over to laundry, it is coin operated laundry. And the ice machine, they don't want you to use the ice machine for coolers. So keep that in mind, guys. And their pool is really big, actually. So they've got a pool as well as a hot tub over here. It has the handicap option to go into the water over here. And they've got plenty of towels for you to use in this area, as well as some water over there too. If you take a walk outside, Kanab is this really cute little neighborhood. They've got a lot of little shops. There's a grocery store over there. And they also have this like walk of fame. It says all the famous cowboys and Indians and stuff like that that were in all the old Western movies. So I thought that was really cool that they show their history and they have little plaques for all the actors that have been out this way. The Holiday Inn is also right next to the police department, so you can feel safe for sure. And that's about it for the Holiday Inn, but make sure you check out these other videos because I'm going to show you everything that is around Kanab that we went to. And we went up to Zion Park, we went down to Great Basin. I have so many videos about these road trips right outside of Las Vegas, so make sure you check them out and I'll see you there.